Now that we made it to the dacha, Babushka Natalia, my mother-in-law, and me, and I am here to take the chair out of the car. So this is a continuation of the previous video. So today is Canada Day, July 1st, 2024. So it's a light duty day today. I'm also celebrating Canada Day. Why not? Anyways, I'm going to open this up right now. Let's take a look and see the chair that was disassembled in our apartment. I hauled it into the car. Now i got to take it out and I'm going to put it together inside the dacha so we'll have a nice chair inside our living room. All right, let's open up the car. Here it is. All the pieces are here. It didn't break the window. <laughs> all right, so I got to take it all off and haul it into the house. Okay, I am here with my neighbor, Vova. Vova, how do you like? Not a man, how do you like? So I'm going to tell him that today is Canada Day in Canada. Vova, you know that today is the day of Canada Day of Canada? It's the day of Canada today. Так вы еще молодые. Молодые? Да. Хар Хабаровску то больше, он старше. Да. Oh. So he's saying that Canada is very young. Да, Канада очень мол молодая. Сколько? Yeah. Канаде сто пятьдесят семь лет, а Хабаровске сто шестьдесят пять. So he's saying Хабаровске is one hundred sixty-five years old and Canada one fifty-seven. Ну вот. Ну как у вас молодая жизнь? Я потихоньку ковыряюсь. Хорошо. После дождей трава, знаешь, как прет. Да, а вот наш газон хорошо, что я тут покосил. So he's saying that uh, we had the rain here. Так у нас тут дождь был. Ой, тут тоже. Вчера нет. тоже был? Я вчера тут не был. I was not here yesterday and I'm asking him uh, if it was raining. Сильный дождь был? Сильный. So it was raining pretty hard here. А чем ты будешь заниматься сегодня, Эли? Чем ты занимаешься? Да сейчас пойду красную смородину собирать. Ah, so I asked him what he's doing, and he's gonna go pick the red currants today. Там у меня кусты. А дроны есть много? Ну не много, но есть. И жимолоси четыре куста. And жимолоси, so that's uh, the honey suckles, I believe. Ну хорошо, но я не буду вас держать. Это мне надо это крысло из машины. Win it, yeah. Uh, there you go. So, yeah, I'm just telling him. Oh, the bush pomegranate. He says that he's going to help me take the chair out of the car here. No, хорошо, что ты будешь помогать мне. Telling him, thank you for helping me. Okay. I've taken everything out, out of the car, actually with the help of my neighbor, Vova. And now I'm going to have to take it inside and we'll have to set it all up anyways i can't believe that this actually fit into the back of the car it took a while to actually move things around it was like a big jigsaw puzzle but managed to put everything into the back of the car and transport it here to the dacha all right let's see what other things we can do since today is a light duty day i'm thinking i'm gonna go pick some strawberries Let's go take a look and see how many strawberries we got and how many we're going to pick. So here's the strawberry patch. I guess we're going to have to dive in. Oh, I see one. There's one right there. All right. I'm going to have to comb through it and pick out the strawberries. That didn't take too long. It took about 15 minutes. Just quickly ran through. Now, there are many that I still left like that one right there, I'm not gonna grab it, or right over here, there's still, I'll probably pick them tomorrow. But there's enough for a night's worth of nibbling along while I'm making this video. Yeah, have some strawberry seeds while I'm making the video. All right, let's go see what else there is to do. I'm curious to see how much rainfall there was onto the pond, and did it actually go up? Because when I was here on Saturday, and I looked at the pond and it went up by about uh, eight inches, something like that, 20 centimeters. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's go take a look at the pond 
and see if it's still muddy or if it's even higher than it was on Saturday. Well, at first glance, it looks like chocolate milk. So it's still high. Actually, it did start to recede a little bit. So that right there, you could see there's a little bit of the dirt. That was actually covered up. So it is going down a little bit. Okay, that's fine. But as for the dirt, I'm sure it's going to take longer to settle. Oh, well. And my hostas, well, didn't have to water them. They got all the rainfall of Saturday and yesterday, Sunday, which I didn't want to come out because it was pouring rain all day. But yeah, everything looks good. And wow, these ferns really took off. And believe it or not, they were just little guys when I transplanted them last year. And now they're just taken over. So that's really good. And brought this old bench over here. Uh, actually, yeah, I want to fix it up. And I just kind of want to have it here so that this would be kind of a little timeout area from the garden and stuff. And it kind of gives a different view instead of having the wide open area with greenhouses and garden and lawn and stuff that is way over there. This is like a little sanctuary place and you'll be sitting surrounded with flowers. And hopefully my chocolate milk pond will clear up. And believe it or not, there are geese. Yeah, there's a young family, believe it or not. There are two geese that have little ducklings with them. I don't know where the little guys are. They're probably somewhere in the weeds hiding out. They can probably hear me. That's why they're not coming out. Anyways, so this is it. Oh, here's a little job that I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to pick this up. I'll probably get a piece of rebar and I'll put it down sort of like this. And I'll tie it up so that this can grow straight. All right, let's go get the rebar. Let's go do that right now. There's no shortage of rebar. This is the rebar that I picked up that were as place markers for the hostas when I was cleaning up the other day over there around the pond. I need one of these big ones right here. And I need a zap strap. So that when I put this in the ground, I will strap a little piece of the zap strap around the branch and it'll hold against this rebar. So let's also go get the zap strap. I secured a little zap strap on this little branch right here and onto the rebar. And now it's holding. Let's take a look. There, so now... This bush will start growing upward instead of it being knocked down. So there it is. Another little job done. Yep, definitely a light duty day today. This little lawn section is looking pretty good. So the last couple days of rain really made it start to grow. So it looks like next week I'm going to take the lawnmower and mow it and then I'll be able to walk on it. But for now I have it cordoned off so that the boys or mother-in-law or Victoria or even myself don't walk through here. But it looks like somebody already did. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyways, let's go inside the greenhouse and let's take a look and see how the vegetables are doing. Well, we keep both doors open, so we keep that one open and this one open. We don't close it because it's pretty warm in here. And here are the tomatoes. So they've been strung up so that they could be growing straight. And they are flowering. No tomatoes yet. That's good. And of course, we had these strawberries here. And wow, this one and that one's really taken off. Probably in another, oh, here's a couple. And a couple little guys here. How many do we have? Two, four, six, six are just on this one branch. Wow, okay. 
So tomatoes on this side of the greenhouse and on this side got the peppers. Peter picked Peter picked a peck of pip pickle peppers. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they're just starting to form. So it's gonna take a little while. And of course the lettuce, I mean this stuff is on steroids. Uh gonna have to chop it down and take it home uh before it gets too old. And of course we've got the dill right here. And more peppers and more lettuce. And we've got the beets right here and more peppers. And let's go check the other greenhouse. Let's see what there is. Let's go to this greenhouse. How are things shaping up here? Okay, tomatoes on this side. Okay, they're also flowering. And this is the horseradish or the hren. So very healthy. Actually, don't even look at it or look after it. it. Just goes on its own. And on this side, we have the cucumbers. And let's see if we can find. Last day, I thought I found. There we go. Right there. So they're just starting off little cukes many over here can't see oh there's one right there just flowering all right so that is the greenhouse stuff and of course i'm not going to bore you with all the other details but i'll tell you uh there are carrots beets over there more tomatoes and of course strawberries and peas are over there so yeah there's still a lot more over there before i go i'm gonna go and water all the plants give them a little bit of water to drink and then i will slowly make my way back to the dacha close everything up and head her back home and i'll be back tomorrow tomorrow will be the regular work day And just like that, everything is watered in the greenhouses. So the tomatoes are watered, the strawberries are watered, the peppers, the beets, the lettuce, the dill. It's all watered. And as for what is outside, nah, don't need to water them today because they had three days of constant rain. And maybe they just want to enjoy the sun without uh any of the water so don't need to water any of the outdoor stuff just whatever was in greenhouse one and inside this greenhouse and that's it as i was walking out of the greenhouse i noticed just how much the lawn had grown let's turn the camera around i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about this lawn right here i cut it on friday so i mowed the lawn and it was looking nice and fresh, freshly cut. And that was three days ago. So today is Monday. And it doesn't even look like it's been mowed. Believe it or not, it was. So, yeah, yeah everything is uh, starting to grow very quickly, especially with all the rain that we have here. And as it continues to rain and then the sun comes out and it just makes everything go very wild check this out okay so here's our currents very very strong this year all right check that out lots and lots of berries on there let's check this side out yeah here it is lots and lots and lots of berries Look at all that. Wow. All right, so that's waiting for my hands. Gonna have to pick that or ask the boys to help us. Maybe they can pick. And here, here's one. Let's check it out. There it is. Hmm. A little bit sour. And the raspberries. Oh, I see one. 
So in the next couple days, we're gonna be picking raspberries too. So lots to do there also. Okay, I'm all done here and time to get going home. So just a recap, what did I do today? Well, had that interview, but that was in the other video. And of course, brought the chair, took it out. I'm going to set it up tomorrow or the next time that I come here. Picked the strawberries, watered the lawn, or not the lawn, the greenhouse, or two greenhouses of all the vegetables that are in there. And just did a little bit of a walkthrough. And everything looks okay. Time to go home. Enjoy my Canada Day holiday, even though I'm in Russia. So that's that. Anyways, I got to go take care and... Paka, paka.